Hi, this is Jennifer Ortega with Red Carpet Report, and we're here tonight for the finale of The Voice. Everybody. And you'll probably do it. Was a, it was an amazing evening. Yeah. Um, I love the banter between you and Blake, by the way. I'm like, you guys should have a TV show. Literally every <laughs> day. Amazing. Literally all the time. <laughs> Poor Blake. We're stuck with each other. I love it, though. Like, I mean, yeah. it was just, that was... He is, like, it's weird. He's, like, a dad, but he's also, like, the big brother I never had. So it's, like, a weird combination of both. How was it performing with him? It was the my favorite thing I've done this season. Yeah. I, hands down, there's not another moment. It was that one. I feel like everyone really, like, just brought their A game today. And, like, everyone was just themselves. And, like, performance was strong. And mm -hmm. I think the overall mentality was just that we were going to go into it having fun because it's been a really stressful week to build up to this day Absolutely, I can't imagine <laughs> and then I also was not expecting to be in the final four so for me it's like I'm chilling I'm excited to be here I just want to have a good time another opportunity for me to show America what kind of artist I want to be and that's all I'm thinking Blake expected you to be in this <laughs> I know right he really did call it from the beginning so Blake's right. Uh, he is. Week after week, he was like, you're going to do I know. I don't. I can't and your mom was it. right. My mom was right. Uh, kids, yeah. listen to your mom. Don't your mom give is up. like, yeah. Don't give up on your dreams, you know, because you don't want to be like me and have to, like, start over again. Yeah. Just they, they keep going. They want to be like you. You're amazing. <laughs> but your mom's like the hero of all moms, you know, now. Yeah, she like, really yeah. is. And she's excited <laughs> so much, like, in the audience. She's like, she goes crazy. Yeah. Well, that's one of my favorite things about your story is that you had your mom's support and mm -hmm. and you did. I'm so glad you did. You look amazing tonight, by the way. You look like in like a 1920s movie star. I made this whole outfit. You did? Just kidding. Oh my God. I was like, you are multi-talented, yeah, Spencer. No, <laughs> like, no, I did. Spencer, not only with a new album, we'll be coming out. Right? <laughs> Fashion line. Uh, the, the stylist and wardrobe department here at The Voice are amazing. So, Yeah. Beautiful. And lastly, um, what is like something that you just really learned your your experience here that or you've just really taken away from being on this journey at The Voice? There are so many things, um, but I am walking taller. I have more confidence than I had when I started. Um, I love country music even more than I did when I came into it. And I'm really excited about what the future holds and uh, the kind of music I will make, and this time, not giving up on myself anymore, and I'm gonna start crying. So I know every time, yeah, like I'm I talk to, talking. no, every time I like watch you on there, I cry. Like every, like I'm in here while you guys are yeah. performing, and every time you sing or you talk about, like I start to cry. Uh, just uh, I've, been, me I've been given an amazing second chance, and so this time I'm I'm not gonna gonna stop. I know now what I want, and I'm gonna just go for it. And if you want to do like a workplace sitcom with Blake, I think it would I work out good. I think that we're so writing that's my... that right now. <laughs> oh Thank God. you so much. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and press the subscribe button below. And let me know in the comments, who do you think deserves to win on this cycle of The Voice?